Hello. 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 Trinity. Trinity. Hello. You were first. Hello, JB. Hi. Gamma. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uh, hi. Ace. Yes. Honkai Star Rail for today. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Gamma. Uh, my my schedule isn't isn't changed. Uh, I I normally still uh will be going live at four on regular days, and community events normally will be happening at six p.m. EST, um, as well. But I I I've been sick. I've been talking about it in my Discord server. Uh, I I had the stomach flu. I, I had a pretty bad stomach flu. I, I've, I've been throwing up the, the past few days and I just, I have not, I have not been good. <laughs> I, I have not been good, but I, I'm back. I've, I've been sleeping a lot as well. So my, my sleeping schedule is a little bit messed up. Um, because I've been sick, I haven't been able to go to the store. Uh, so... I have a lot of things I have to do later today, uh, like go to the store, pick up my medication, stuff like that. So, um, early stream today. Also, hey, uh, what, what command are, are you trying to do? All, all, all my commands are down in the panels. future hello future hi 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 lucky ace with the eight eight months whoa i need to know your time my time my time zone or my stream time I'm EST. I want to boop your nose. Well, too bad. My nose is unboopable. Yeah, I, I, I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So it is 666. Six, 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 what? It is 1216 for me. PM. But hello, welcome in everyone. I am moving this over. That is annoying me. That was too far to the left. I did not like that. I, I listen, I've been up since 1 a.m. Okay, give me a break. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> so funny little thing, I'll stretch in a minute, I'll stretch in a minute. Uh, well, lucky ace, I, the only one that I actually have geared up would be Kafka. Those are rookie numbers. I've been, okay, so I, I was actually going to sleep the entire night, but, um, my cat woke me up. She she jumped on my face. She jumped on my face. Uh specifically, I keep I, I I roll my gaming chair over to like next to my bed because I like to put my phone on it. As like a desk. <laughs> Um, and so I'll, I'll roll it up, like, a, against the wall and, like, put my phone on, like, the arm so I could grab my phone. Anyway, this bitch, oh my god, 
this fucking cat. She like sumo like wrestling like fucked my shit up, okay? She climbed up like the back of the chair, right? She climbed up the back like where the headrest is, you know, because it's a cat and she can stand on like that inch of like width of a fucking chair. She climbed up that and jumped from that to my bed, which by the way is like more than a foot okay like that like she 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 got height okay fuck you hey <laughs> it, it, it was over like a foot or two this bitch climbed up this chair i don't know how fucking tall my like the back of my chair is but she climbed up that and she jumped on my face in my sleep she busted my lip open it's one in the morning she did that because i i accidentally like locked her in my room when i went to sleepy i didn't mean to go sleepy uh i just wanted to lay in my bed and watch youtube and then i passed out so i accidentally locked her in my room and she was like bitch let me out and i'm like okay fine but like she, she she just wanted out and her meowing wasn't waking me out of my sick like hibernation coma going on so she decided to full on wreck my shit bust my lip it's one in the morning my lip is pouring blood everywhere it was awful okay it was awful and so then i had to get up and take care of my lip and then i at this point i'm like all right i'm awake i'm 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 awake Um, by the way, got a whole ass cat foot in my mouth during this. Uh, I'll be honest, unknown, I am tired because I've been up since one in the morning because of my cat. So I decided to then just go reheat up my chicken noodle soup because I went, I went and got chicken noodle soup yesterday. And I was eating chicken noodle soup, but I knew I knew I wasn't gonna actually want to make more, so I saved half of it and decided to just heat it up in my microwave, right? And I, I heated up the other half of my chicken noodle soup, best chicken noodle soup of my fucking life. Okay, um, it was heaven. It was great. It cured all of my issues. And then on top of that, I was also like hella ingesting water, but then the water didn't feel like it was hydrating me at all. So I bumped up, I bumped up the hydration game. I started getting like vitamin water and shit, you know, like water that's supposed to like hydrate you when you're like sick. Boom. Uh, so all night I sat there ate my soup hella drunk water i'm now well i was eating a bagel and i still have a bit of my coffee left because i haven't had any caffeine uh so i went and got me a coffee and a bagel mm. okay okay i'll stretch i'll stretch here, let me, let me open up, uh, Honkai Star Rail while I stand it up to stretch. What's next? Throw up. That's what I did. I, I, I would eat food and I would throw up. Uh, but I, I'm stomaching food now. Barry, it's better you don't say my name. Okay. Also, yes, uh, guys, let me let me let me go over it real quick. I, I'm streaming early today because um, 
I, I have a lot of things to do. It is currently 12, 23 p.m. I've been awake since 1 a.m. Uh, I've been sick. I, I tried to do a Valentine's Day stream for you guys, and that was like the peak of the sickness. Thank you for the stretch, by the way, Al Alphon. Um, and hi, unknown. Hi, everyone. Sorry, f sorry for my my little story. <laughs> I just felt like it was very um necessary to state but uh my my normal stream times are are still going to be 4 p.m est and 6 p.m est for community events uh until we get to 3k when we get to 3k followers on twitch i will be doing another community poll in the discord server so please 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 be sure to join the discord server you can get all of the notifications regarding me and my health and my stream times and schedule, it's all there. Um, the, the, this surge of energy is specifically from me missing stream and missing you guys. Um, I am incredibly tired. Uh, and I still have a ton of errands and things that I have to do today in just a few hours. So, um, we're here. We're, we're, we're streaming now. I know. I'm sorry. It's early to anyone who happens to be watching the VOD. I'm sorry. Uh, I promise I will, I will go back to my normal stream times. Tomorrow, hopefully, possibly, maybe. Wait, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Okay, change of plans. Saturday, I have a just chatting, right? I think. Bitch, I don't know my own schedule. I've been sick. I've been sick. Um. Yes, Saturday, I have a just chatting at 2 p.m. Barry, you are literally 4'11". That is a false, okay? Uh, fun fact, I have like a, like a VTuber Wikipedia thing, which I didn't make, okay? I didn't make that. But I have a VTuber Wikipedia, and that states the actual facts. I'm five foot even. Five foot even, bitch. Get it right. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Midnight, it's okay. Hello, hello. Bitch, I'm not small. I will fight all of you. Anyway. Anyway. Five foot, yes. Bitch. Okay, anyway. Tomorrow, I have a just chatting stream at 2 p.m. Yes, Karumi. Um, I have a just chatting stream tomorrow at 2 p.m. That may or may not happen on time. That might be short, okay? I'm still very much sick. I, I am 100% still recovering. I, I'm eating food now, but I haven't really been able to stomach food the past few days. So I'm just now starting to you know, regain that, that energy from not eating. So I'm getting better. Uh, so bear with me if I am low on energy or streams are at different times uh, while I fully recover and also fix my sleeping schedule. I'm picking up some medicine today. I'm going to the store to get more food. Uh, I'm even going to be picking up more sick foods like soups and such so I can still kind of take it easy and i am trying my absolute best to you know rest up so uh if i if i don't post tiktoks um or stuff like that i'm super duper sorry um but just know i'm i'm doing what i can to recover so my streams can be as best as possible 
while making TikToks and YouTube shorts and such when I can. How long are you planning to make this stream? Um, this, this stream, I don't know. At least four hours, guys. Uh, so. Four? Around, around four? Yeah. Um, at, at least, um, I don't have any food, so it's really whenever I get hungry, <laughs> I, I ate all of my food. I, I went to the store when I was sick and I picked up two cans of chicken noodle soup. I know, very smart of me, went back home. <laughs> And ate that. <laughs> DoorDash? You think I got money for DoorDash, Timmy? Timby. You think I got money for DoorDash? <laughs> that shit's expensive. <laughs> I'm five foot. Unknown. Fuck you. Okay, I'm tired of you. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We we have to play some Honkai, guys. As much as I would love to sit here and, and talk to you guys and, and catch up, that's for tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're having the just chatting, okay? Tomorrow. So we're, we're gonna go here, okay? We are now gamers. Don't mind me. I was playing, a, I was playing a little bit of catch up tonight. I was playing a little bit of catch up. I, I I have been thinking about doing a lot more just chattings, which is why I am still trying to include at least one chatting once a week. Uh before um anime night. Because we have our anime night every Saturday, so I figured it'd be like a nice little nice little thing. It's like a it's like a little relaxed day. I get to talk to you guys. And, uh, I, I get to talk to you guys and hang out, and then I could be like, Hey, I know we've been hanging out here, but it's time for anime night. I'm gonna end stream. And then, and then we go, we go hang out in, in the anime night. Of course, I'm still gonna raid out in case nobody wants to come to anime night. They don't really care about the anime we're gonna be watching. Which, by the way, is going to be Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. Um... You guys voted on it. Who's your favorite has been hotel character? Uh, Lucky Ace. It, oof. You know, it's it's stuck between Alistair and Lucifer. I'll be honest. If you were to see my TikTok, holy moly. Um, you would be really disappointed in me. One zero, one zero, one zero. You would be really disappointed in me. But hey, guys. Guess what I did? I spent last night farming. Look at me go. I spent last night farming. Uh, don't, don't mind. Don't mind, don't mind this, okay? Don't, don't, don't mind the rope and spear. But I spent last night farming, okay? I, I, if, if I'm correct, the, the prisoner set for Kafka is like the set, okay? So we're 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 making progress. Okay. Um All of these guys are at level 60. 
I I'm trying to get their light cones up, but I got I got my Kafka light cone up to 60. I know this isn't the best one. I know. I know, but it's it still works. Um Yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of a little silly because I believe the other two people that I have on my my support is Welt, which I have leveled up to 40, but has kind of like basic bitch shit and then I have my Jing Liu, which is also at level 40, but hasn't been touched at all. Do I plan to level them up and and get shit for them? Yes. I'm just now starting my gear farm, okay? I was lazy. I was lazy. Give me a break. Give me a break. Anyway. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. I think I got all of their, like, skills and stuff up. Um. Yeah. I, I, I've been on that grind, okay? I've, I've been on the grind because I needed to get through Pinnacony. Which is where we're going. Oh, fuck! Wait, hold on. Hold on. I also know what I did before. Guess what I did before? I grinded some more pulls, okay? We're only gonna do the 10 pull. And if I end up getting 10 more today, we'll do another 10. I don't think so. But I, I, I got another 10 pulls. So we're gonna, we're gonna start off today strong with another 10 pull. This would be pool like 70 or 80. I still don't have Black Swan. So surely we're getting something. We're not getting anything. <laughs> How? We're on like pool 70 or 80. How the fuck have I not gotten at least a five star? Ow! Papa Bell VT, hello! Thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. I know, it's like a holographic ticket. But, like... How? Another Ting... Okay, Tingyun, I love you. I really do. But, like, where's my black swan? How... Am I really gonna have to pull all 80? Am I really gonna have to pull all 80? That has to be 70. If it was 80, like, that that would have practically been guaranteed, right? Ah, it's like a guarantee at 80. Show you some of our local hospitality. To at least get a 5 star. Oh my god, I'm at E3 on this girl. Jeez. Okay. What am I doing? Barry, stop. Okay, you need to stop using both your keyboard and your controller. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Missions. Okay, we're we're going back. We're going back to Pentaconi. Coney, Connie. Is it Pentacon or Coney? How far are you? Um. Oh, is that a stain? I like this coat. Oh shit! Hold on. I think I might have. Yeah, I turned down. I turned down my audio. I had a headache last night. And a coney. Okay, anyway. Um I I've stopped myself from seeing so many spoilers, okay? I haven't seen anything for like actually meeting Black Swan or Sparkle and stuff like like I haven't seen that. Real Sampo Koski. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hold on. <laughs> I 
I want to pause. Goodness. Is the blanket really gonna mess me up again? Really? Are we doing this today? Is this what we're doing today? All right. The blanket can go bye-bye. That's fine. We'll pull out the rose. I hope you're having an amazing stream so far. Thank you, Sample. <laughs> uh, I I am. It's it's actually it, it's good to it's good to be back. But I, I I haven't seen any I haven't seen any like spoilers. I'm actually really proud of myself, though I have gone on a bit of a adventuring edit rabbit hole. Don't mind me. You'll just be disappointed. Forget that. Ugh. What the? Wait, where am I going? Oh. Oh, guys, hold on. I gotta get the codes. A cafe. I gotta get the codes. I have codes for you guys. Ah. Hmm. Um, they might not be new codes. <laughs> I'm not sure if there are new codes, but. You know. They're they're there. Can I pin it? Thank you. All right, back to the game. I I need to remember to do that for you guys. We are W mods. You guys aren't even mods. What? What? Lit. But yeah, uh, though those are some codes for you guys. You you might have already claimed them, or maybe not. I just I want to have them in my chat for you guys in case you haven't. No, uh, oh shit! This fuck. Is. This is. Is this your secret stronghold? Yes. Do you want me to crawl in there? It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Okay. Huh? Hey. It's me. Let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. Bitch. Oh. Oh my god. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Conspiracy theory. Not a conspiracy theory. 
<laughs> a game theory, a prediction. This is the white haired girl. I forgot her name. The singer, the, the singer girl. That's the, s okay, don't say it. Robin, yeah, that's her name. The singer girl. Listen, you guys knew who I was talking about. Anyway, don't say yes or no. That is the same like auto tuny ch like computer chip fucking voice, okay? That anyway. And the fact that well well and uh, uh Himiko were like that's kind of sus. I don't Anyway. To be more precise, it's been Oh, adventuring. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? I just realized I have a thing for girls with pigtails. Well, hello. Hi. I I have pigtails. Hello. Uh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. I'm in honey. Guys, hold on. What? What does this mean? Honey Avgen? Like, why is it doubled? Why? Why is it doubled? It did the same thing with Don Hong when it said enemies and then it said blade right above enemies. Like, what does that mean? My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. Whoa. Sparkle. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars. Whoa. Thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. Sparkle, are you being racist? <laughs> Sparkle, no! <laughs> I liked you! <laughs> I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. Whoa! Calm down! Sparkle! I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. How is he not bothered? Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Aventuring. Why do you speak so... What's the word here? Not fruity. Not fruity. It's not fruity. It's... Oh my god, wait. <laughs> I did not pay attention to that. Was Dr. Ratio also being racist? Damn, no, you're right! No, because he he literally he only apologized because he was an orphan. Oh. <gasps> Wait a minute. Holy shit. People in Pentacone are wild. <gasps> Holy shit. Anyway, why is Aventurine so like mm? A 
cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. Does she just have the same voice actor as Robin? Okay, hold on. Anyway. Robin, you've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Honeycomb? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing boy! Do it, little peacock. Ah! You strip yourself naked. Apologize to him on your knees and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Friends, oh please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. Okay. Who's Chicken Wing Boy? Who's Chicken Wing Boy? But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. I want to know what their real names are because everyone from the IPC like uh Topaz and Adventurine like that's not their real names that's just like a like a corporate name for them. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> Damn. So long. Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. Ugh. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Oh. Hold on, are there chests? Hold on, there's a... Yeah! I don't trust Firefly. I don't trust Sparkle. She seems like a meanie. Yeah, no sparkle sparkle seems like a meanie um and i don't trust firefly all right magic time in the corner like kafka's at least mean in like a hot way you know like I knew there would be one here. Hehe. 
Like Kafka, Kafka just comes off as like a mean dummy mommy. She literally like when when you fight Kafka, she she literally dominates people in your team. Like like she she's just a dummy mommy. Yank. 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 Chirp. I'm not putting on voices. Chirp. I'm watching some. No. No. Chirp. Oh dear. I got too distracted and forgot that we were still playing hide and seek. Chirp. Forget it. I think we played enough today. I'm going back. Chirp. Yeah. No. She. She like literally uses an ability called like dominate. Uh, yeah. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Okay. Don't worry. This place isn't dangerous. Just um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. Uh huh. My secret stronghold is in this area. Heard. Let's sneak inside. Hey. Um, Kunai, I'm I'm feeling good though. I I'm feeling better. I'm still internally like super low energy, but <clears throat> excuse me. There's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat. We're caught right away. Let me try. Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. Who? Eh, never heard of him. I wouldn't let you in even if the Dream Master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Mm. Let me think of another way. Ah, inner berry time. Uh, yeah, I... I'm not fully recovered. I, I'm still pretty weak and like super, super low on energy, which is why I'm streaming so early so I can go to the store and get more food that's not just soup. Um... And still like rest up throughout the day, get get as much sleep as I need. I, I've been sleeping a lot longer, um, so I, I've been going to sleep earlier. So I just I want to make sure I get everything done as well as take a shower. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come. Ooh, in. I forgot about that. This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Nah. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself. The composed man before you appears impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him a bit. Oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Okay, calm down. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Buddy, you look, um, you look as delighted as me. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm coming off as a bit high energy today because I, I've missed you guys. I, I really wanted to spend Valentine's Day with you guys and I couldn't because I was sick. Ooh, can you feel it? It's, this is wild. It feels like I just downed 10 bottles of Apocal Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. I, I also get my medication today and like there, there's just a lot. Uh, now, next week, I, I am going to be fairly busy, but I'm still going to try and stream as, as much as possible. I just, I, I still have a lot of things to get done because I, I am planning to, to move states this, this year. So, I just, I, I have a lot to do. <laughs> oh, if Mia were here, we would 
sing a song together. Oh, I'm sure she would understand how I feel. I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with me, beautiful. Right here, right now. Yes, I... I'm going to be moving states, uh, hopefully this year, if possible. Uh, I, I need to have a certain amount of money saved up. And, of course, enough money for, you know, rent, food, uh, the whole getting over there. Um, stuff like that. So, I, I need to have a few thousand dollars saved up. Uh... And of course, I, I'm, I'm already kind of in the process of getting stuff boxed up that like I want to bring with me, but don't really use on a daily basis. So it's easier. Regardless of when it happens, I, I do plan to move. So... Might, might as well get some of that stuff out of the way. I'm also dealing with a lot of doctor stuff because, well, when it when it comes to doctors, you have to get like established with them and see them a few times and do this and do that and dentist stuff. So I, I'm trying to get all of that out of the way before I move states so I can, you know, have time to get re-evaluated with a new doctor in a different state and stuff. So... I, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting a lot of stuff done and I, I'm trying not to have my house too stocked up with food because, you know, so, yeah. Um. It's going to be, what, around July? I thought that's my, that's my original set, you know, plan. For the move is is July. Um, I'm not going to go into specifics of what state and where I am. All I'm saying is it's about a 12 hour drive, about a three hour flight. Um, yeah. I, of course, will be announcing when all of this is actually happening, if it will be happening, um, and going from there. It, it may take me a few days to get everything set up from internet, um, putting everything back together. So yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it might take a minute to get everything there and everything set up uh when that does happen so again the discord server twitter things like that i'll i'll be sure to keep you guys updated on all of that when it when it does happen we are still quite a good few months away if not longer uh what one five five months if not more uh so yeah <laughs> oh no way rules are rules it's totally fine if you want to turn me down this crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what i need i i wish i wish it would last forever still i won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. <laughs> yeah. Uh well, Ace, um I I have no money saved up. I I got $20 in my savings account. Yeah. Um <laughs> That's fine. But uh, I, I I technically do have more, um, but that's that's put to the side for the new model, which I'm also trying to fully pay off before the move. And why am I getting a phone call? Give me just a minute. I will be right back. I'm super duper sorry.
Hello. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, give me, give me two seconds. Fuck. I'm gonna have to make another phone call. Uh, so here, I'll, I'll I'll tell you guys what what happened. My my dad called me, the good old elderberry, and was like, "Hey, do you know a good hairstylist?" And I'm like, "Of course. Why?" And he's like, "I just I want to get my hair cut by someone who's good at cutting hair, and I know you're really picky about your hair, so you have to know someone." And I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, can you make me an appointment with her? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And then I realized that he never gave me a day or a time. So now I have to call him again. And figure out. what day and time he wants my fault give me two seconds i love you all thank you for being here uh while this is going on please don't forget to claim your drops um don't forget to claim your drops claim those codes that are are pinned in the chat and uh listen to the amazing music okay Mwah. Okay, now I'm back for good. And I didn't even get a defined answer. He just goes, because I, I, I was, I was kind of trying, I was kind of trying to rush him a little bit. 
So I'm like, can can you can you give me a proper time? And he's like, well, can you go can you go through the scheduling times? And I'm all like, do you have a specific day in mind? And I, I told him the days that she was available in the next, like you know, like this week and next week. And he's all like, okay, but like what what what's the time for Saturday? What what's the time for Tuesday? And I'm like, I I'm I'm not gonna go through all the times here, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm busy. I'm I'm streaming right now, father. And he's like, "Oh, I'll call you about it later then." Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, I want an apple, specifically cut up, a red apple cut up with caramel dip. Can one of you guys do that for me? Imagine if Barry's father joined chat. No. <laughs> he he is in incredibly southern. <laughs> like uh you got you guys know Boom Hour? Um, if, if, if you don't know Boom Hour, um, Boom Hour is a character in King of the Hill. You could probably search up on YouTube, Boom Hour, King of the Hill, and you'll probably get multiple clips and videos of him. Um, that's pretty much my dad. So, have fun understanding that. Oh my god, Ace. <laughs> anyway. Game time. He really is a man of principle. The man has become content but remains impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him a bit. Joy reading his inner thoughts again. How do I provoke him? Sad? Ah, honored guests. Welcome to Pinnacone. I didn't want to make him sad. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. My job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me. I feel you. In that case, I'd recommend that you see Dr. Edward for a psychotherapy session. <laughs> On it. Oh. Thank you. Anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. That's me. Why are you talking about yourself that way? You are obviously explaining me. Well, can you let us through? Oh, this, there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. I mean, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. <laughs> I feel really bad. The man mentioned die trying. It might just be worth to try to give him what he wanted. That is, if you can live with it. I don't want to make him mad, though. No, I, I, I just feel bad. How many times do I have to repeat myself? 
Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Well, fuck you. Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? Yeah. I'm gonna regret it. What are you gonna do? Huh? Huh? You're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all. Oh yeah. How well have you heard of the galactic baseballer? You're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Says you. Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, sweet dreams, troop. Teach them a lesson. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Sweet dreams, troop. Hold on. There's more of you. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> Stand still. You could still surrender. Here I come. Anyway. <laughs> That'll take more than nap time. Relax. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Uh, darn it! I can't believe I've lost. Uh, is this? Is this the power of youth? Yeah. If I'd had that power back then, why, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Who is Mia? Did your wife leave you? Uh, uh, all right. Uh, you can go in. As the winner, you, you deserve it. Oh, thank you. He's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. I don't want to fight you. Or you want a D20? Hey, 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 Yep. Different points in space are linked together. I'm so smart. The other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? Oh, I need it though. Oh, I I need it. Does that hurt? I need it. More business, eh? <laughs> what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> That'll take. <laughs> Stand still. You could still surrender. Too many codes. Never enough drops or codes. Bitch, fuck off. Naughty child. Nap time. Relax. Oh, we're fighting. Rip Sampo. What? Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Oh shit! I didn't get rid of the ad time redeem. <laughs> well, first of all, I can't run ads right now anyway. Two, I did I did want to get rid of that. So we we're we're gonna refund it, don't you worry. Seems I've been waiting a while. And we're 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 just gonna pause it for right now. So no one can redeem it. Stand still. <laughs> I 
I, I can only run ads every every 30 minutes. Hmm. Nap time. Relax. Time for a shot. That's better. You're a good person. I'm okay. Good times. Never left. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're too good to I'm so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Didn't hurt. No, I'm actually going to lose this. Thanks. You're too good. To <laughs> I'm okay. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. That'll take more than medicine. That's better. Thanks. You're too good to me. <laughs> but I'm a doctor. Nat, no! <laughs> Fuck me. I'm actually dead here. I'm actually dead here. Oh my god. No! No! Well... Um... Nice, um... Oopsie daisy. Um, I guess we are not. Getting that chest right now. I'm still in the process of building up my characters. I really want it. But I can't get it, and I know that. I know that. Why did I hit it? Aha! Yank! Chirp, chirp. Fuck. I've been discovered. Well, why are you staying down here there, chirp? Unless you can't come up, chirp. Chirp. And I still deliberately stopped on the ladder, chirp. What a pitiful two-legged beast. Goodbye, chirp. Damn. Didn't have to fucking. God damn. Okay, I get it. I need more stickers. I have 
to have another sticker somewhere, right? Where is it? Where are my stickers? Oh. Okay. I guess I don't have more stickers. It's like stepping on planks, floating on water. Oh shit! Fuck! No, I. Naughty child. I know, I know what you guys are on about. Okay. Fuck me! Oh, I didn't even think about. Ah! No! Uh, I'm becoming a just chatting streamer. I obviously can't play games. Ha 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 ha, bitch, bitch. Get to the rooftop of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here. Hold on, I'm looking for loot. Ah, what? There we go. Yippee! Okay. Back I go. What the fuck are you? Okay, bye. Bye 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 bye. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I didn't know I was fucking Ah! How do I rotate? Oh. I figured out how to rotate. Bam! And it comes out just like that. No matter how many times I've seen it, it still looks magical. Let's go. Surely I can run past them, right? Surely I can run past them, right? Surely. 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 How do I... Oh. What? Hold on. What?
Ouais. 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 I didn't even see the one right there. Oops. Thank you for the lurk, unknown. My shoulder hurts. Your new emotes are so cute. I've had those for a while now. Hello, can I please... That's number three. Look, seven more to go. Grand Theater over there. It radiates dazzling light perpetually, just like this glamorous dream. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. My countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. Firefly, I don't trust you. <gasps> you're you're coming off as way too sweet and weird and hmm. I have to put on my thinking cap. Yo, a chest. I wonder whether I can... Sorry, Firefly, I didn't mean to cut you off, but... I wanted that chest. from across the universe to form the team of dream hold on dream of Penicone. these areas are not developed yet so guests don't come here it's not as lively as the town center here but i relish the serene atmosphere Okay, time for me to sit up. Oh, one hundred percent goes. Oh, right there.
just like how this goes right about here. And that. Hold on, I'm good at this. Just give me a second. It's that one streamer lady. Are you feeling better? Yes, Dee Dee. Um, I, I'm still low energy and really, really tired, but I'm I'm feeling a whole lot better, trust me. Ballsy move, ballsy move. Oh my god, I'm cracked. You don't sound like death? Yeah, I, again, uh, I'm doing, I'm doing a lot better. I'm, I'm eating food and hydrating and everything else. I'll be honest, I haven't, I haven't played the, the new Overwatch season, but I've seen plenty of clips and, um, I'm not too happy with how it's looking. Yeah, specifically that. The the hitbox. I just uh ugh. it's the same routine. You've mastered it, right? Bruh. Excuse me? Bruh. Bruh. Oh, I just hate the TVs because they drain your energy. Next time, stand still. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. I'll be honest, I don't like the look of the jade weapons. They don't look good. Like... No. <laughs> Nibu, hi. Brilliant idea it is. I must write it down on paper while it's fresh in my mind. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure I'll forget all the details when I wake up from sleep. Uh, there's no better time than now to put it to action. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. I just don't want to get something that isn't even... gonna look good nice on like any of my skins oh this place 
case is really complicated. I just wanted to see if there was a chest over there. What? Aha! Thank you for the lurk, Heya. God, this like hurts my head. Oh, finally, there won't be too many hindrances after this. No, I have to fight the dinosaurs. This area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, no, I have to fight the dinosaurs. Sort of drawing attention. I don't think we can get around them. Knocking them out is the only way to go. Let's I'm ready. Yeah. Even though I still don't trust you, Firefly. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Naughty child. <laughs> Relax. Dino strong <laughs> as fuck! <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. Stand still. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Dino. Dino strong. You could still I don't know. Thank God it's not like a, a two parter. This is the place. Someone's singing? Where is the sound coming from? Hold on. I had to get that chest. I'm sorry, Firefly. <gasps> Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone. Hold on, Firefly. How beautiful. Frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express Nameless, and me. Okay, so this is Robin's song. Uh, this this is this is debunking my theory even more. Robin's fake. Well, 
Because in this song, unless... Unless, like... She sings without her weird auto-tune voice. Because when you hear her talking, she has that, like... You know? She's a robot. She's a fraud. She's a clone. She She's something. Okay. That's all I know. Unless she doesn't sing with her auto tune voice. Side note. Sparkle, Robin, same voice actor. Right? Guaranteed. Right? They have that voice. The only thing I noticed is that Sparkle also has that auto tune. Anyway. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our different agendas. Welcome back, Ace. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am still away. I knew it. I know. Hometown was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but I I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. Family takes them in, but they don't. They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penicone, but some have dreams that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. What's your wish? Syndrome. Have you heard of this term? What? <laughs> it's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away. And the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because... They have all been shattered. So how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. I'm sorry. You're 
certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. Mm -hmm. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. I can't make any promises. It's okay. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched. I'm gonna cry. A new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun, and it whispered to me. remember the question on the invitation letter why does life slumber you see everything is possible in this land of dreams the nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water and the future that you don't want to face will never come why do people choose to sleep I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Pom Pom would cool us down with water from a spray can. Spray can? That's rough. Thank you for the head pads, plastic. Perhaps there's something else we can do? Mm. March would force us to take a selfie with her. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself would you like to join me let's commemorate this moment firefly do you like me you, you you've tried to take pictures with me multiple times i can be a little bit camera shy <laughs> ah off at me here you hold the camera okay i can do that the girl hands the phone to you her eyes filled with expectation you take the phone, launch the camera app, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then, extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, let me get ready. Okay, take your time. I'm good. Let's do this. Okay. One, two, say cheese. Cheese. Oh, they're so cute. Whoa, I didn't realize the height difference here. Damn. MC tall. Do you have to go back already? Time really flies. I spent hours hanging out with you, bitch. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on, let's say goodbye, Golden Hour. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got stickers. Oh, I don't have stickers. These nights are short and cold. Push onward alongside the lady at the dream's edge where most ordinary guests are restricted from entering. You and Firefly witnessed miraculous sights and left traces of your shared presence. Can you still recall how you felt at that moment? Looking forward to more encounters in the future. Oh, I do have stickers. I got hella stickers.
Achievements. Okay, store. Oh yeah, that's number four. That's number, that's number four. Whew, okay. Please don't give me a quest. Please just, just give me... Just give me Jade. Please, Zampa. No, Sampo's great. Dr. Psyched, hello. Thank you for the follow. You are not a baby bat. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Boom, back here. Teleport, boom. Oh. Come to think of it, I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. Ah. Oh. Strange. Where is everyone gone? Is that a sample? God, I got scared by the billboard. Sampo, is that guy up to no good again? Listen, I we meet again, my dear. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A oh, pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Tampa. You're just so blind. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Is that not Sampa? I mean, I knew I found, I, I found it hard to believe, right? Because... It's confusing. It's confusing. Is that not Sampo? Why would he leave Urillo 6? He loves that place. Is he just a part of my dream? Is he just a part of my dream? Why would he be bad? I know me as the MC sees him as a bad person. Because, like, he literally kind of, like, drugged and kidnapped us to the, the deep part of the, the... Oh, you're dreaming of him. So is this just, like, a, a dream version of Sampo where he's, like, some, like, big bad guy? I want to believe it's Sampo because... Sampo would have that dream, you know, the trash can dream. And then he was, like, the big... He was, he was the trash king. That is such a dream Sampo would have. Dead ass. But like, why would he be here? Why would he be in the dreamscape? Why wouldn't he be on Urillo 6? I know he cares for Urillo 6 a lot. So why wouldn't he be there? I don't know. This brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? You wouldn't say that. You talk too much. Damn. Oh, I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet? What the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? Okay, but Sampo would seek out that knowledge. Are you the trailblazer who saved the ice world? You wouldn't refer to me that way. Nope. Nope. 
when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well, it was my problem for trusting him. He wouldn't refer to me as the trailblazer. He always refers to me as like a dear friend, first of all. He wouldn't call it the ice world. He is the type of person to talk about himself in a different perspective. That's not Sampo. That's not Sampo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How, how would he, how, how, how would fake Sampo know who March is? If it's off of my dreams, which this would be weird. If this is a fake dream Sampo in dreamland, he technically would know who March is. But I think this is an imposter. This is an imposter. I'm really, really disappointed in you. You wouldn't be disappointed in me. You love me. I'm your best friend. I'm your best friend, Sampo. Oh, oh, oh. Why don't you rest for a little while? Inside the real dreamscape. Oh! Fuck yeah! I'm creating a theory channel! Oh. <laughs> Sparkle! Hold on! Wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay. Recollect. For one, why'd you have to make Sample walk like that? Okay. His, his like, cut, like, jacket. What is this place? Okay. Update. It's an imposter. There's an imposter among us. Two. Based off of that, based off of it being Sparkle. Unless Sparkle and Aventurine are closer because Aventurine knows about your Willow 6. I think. He, he's fully aware of what happened on Urillo 6 with Topaz and everything else. So unless they're communicating, which I don't think that's the case, okay? Well, I think Sampo is actually on vacation. And the Sampo we were hanging out with earlier was the real Sampo on vacation. I think the real Sampo is in Pentaconi. I think the real Sampo is in Panacone. I think he's fucked up. I I don't know the things that can happen, but I I do know when I was in that other dream world where you meet um the hot girl for the first time she even said like the the dream thing and you'll forget and whatever so maybe acheron yes acheron maybe like the family is involved in this like sparkle is involved with the family and they were able to like do something with sampo the real sampo because surely Sparkle. Sparkle can't just clone anyone from like your memory. They they have to be able to get their hands on them, right? If not, that's like cheating. Okay. So Sampo has to be there. Somewhere tied up. He would, he would have to be in a bathtub, so he would be in one of the rooms. 
because that's the only way his body would be able to get into the dreamscape. But does he have to be? Okay, side note. From that, Robin 100% is an imposter as well. Because during during that Sampo scene, and I, I thought I heard it earlier when Sparkle was talking to Aventurine and was calling him a like chicken wing boy or whatever. Not him, someone. So, calling someone a chicken wing boy. But her voice then when talking to Aventurine and also when doing the Sampo transition had that voice, you know, that, that voice effect to it that Robin has. And I thought that they might have shared the same voice actor, but why would they add that effect? That's not a natural voice effect. So 100% Sampo and Robin are imposters by Sparkle. I don't know how. I guess that's her ability is to like clone people, impersonate people. Can she only do that in the dreamscape? Anyway, and if she has to be able to be with their body, because I, I don't think she's controlling their body, obviously, because she went from Sampo to Sparkle. I think she clones them somehow, like, like copies them. So both Robin and Sampo have to be like tied up somewhere in a bathtub, right? Because how else would their bodies be in the dreamscape? What if Adventurine is an imposter? What about Firefly? How do you know who to trust? Adventurine and Firefly can't be imposters because Sparkle was there. Assuming she can't like shadow clone Jutsu these guys and it has to be her body like Pulling like a chameleon effect. It that it, that's not how that works. They we saw Sparkle talking to Aventurine as a completely different person. So Aventurine's safe for the most part. Aventurine has his whole other thing deal thing going on. I'll figure that out. I do think Aventurine and Sparkle are like kind of buddies in one way or another. So like they're they're in on it together somehow. Because they're they're both like the enemy. Or like the bad guy. Obviously. So they're they're in on it together, but Aventurine's safe. Okay. As for Firefly. Sparkle, like Firefly also can't be an imposter because Firefly was there for that. And I, I fully believe Sparkle can only take on one appearance at a time and can't shadow clone Jutsu. I don't think she's puppeteering their bodies. I'm sorry. I had, sorry. Back at the hotel? No, this feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. So I'm back in the weird dream world. I ran into a little trouble. Oh, okay. I have no service here. Awesome. Can't get in touch with. Hi, Weeb. That that's when. That's just a theory. Okay. Yo, I got a sparkle picture. Of course. 
Wait, did Sparkle put me in a... Obviously, that's what she did. That bitch, like, one-tapped me. So Sparkle put me in a dream. So that means she's able... to put... people in... like, the unmasked dreams... Escape? Does she have that power? Theoretic Fire Firefly? <laughs> so you're really here too? Okay, hold on. We're passed out in the normal in Penacone. We're passed out in Penacone. The dreamscape. We're passed out there. We're in a completely different dream. We're dream bubbling this shit. Okay. Okay, I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate. Hold on. Sampo's here too. And Robin. We're, we're, we're alive. We're alive. We are in a deeper dream. We're in a dream within a dream. I think. Right? We're in a dream within a dream. We're passed out. That now means... Uh, Sparkle to now take on both me and Firefly's appearance. We, we're, we're stuck in the dream world right now. That, that's what this is gonna be. We're, I hate games. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch. God, this is... No, no, I was gonna say, damn, this is harder than the FNAF lore. I, I'm a theory person, okay? What happened? No. Where is this? Don't know. Of course you don't. I know where we are. We're in a dream in a dream and Sparkle is fucking shit up. Have you played Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? I haven't played 1, 2, or 3. That's actually something I've been planning to stream. Um, yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it. I, I wanted to do all three. In any case, we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. But this is... Very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. It's suffocating, silent, uneasy. And these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Panacone under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? Um, thank you for the lurk, Mr. Unknown. Uh, and lucky for you, lucky ace, I actually haven't seen a drop, a hint of anything Bobby Playtime. Other than, like, I've seen, like, pictures and stuff of, like, the characters in it, like Mr. Huggy Wuggy and stuff like that, just because, like, I'm chronically online. Um. But I, I don't know. Yeah, I when when I go into story games, I I pretty much like to go in blind. Um, Inside and Limbo were the only games that I played on stream that I've played multiple times because I wanted I wanted to replay them for kind of like the uh memory. What what's that called? Re reminiscing of the past. The, Nostalgia. Nostalgia. I wanted to play the, for the nostalgia of it, and it was a nice, fun thing. And for the people who haven't seen Limbo or Inside, I really wanted them to experience it as well, because I think those are beautiful, amazing games. Um, but typically, when it comes to any game, whether it be horror, story, anything like that, even things like Honkai Star Rail, I try my absolute best not to spoil myself on them. I 
love the way you remember the word nostalgia. Um... I am going to be right back real back. I, I'm, oh my god, I'm gonna be right back real quick. I need to go potty. <laughs> so I, I will be right back. I love you all. I'm gonna turn on some music for you guys. I'll be right back. Mwah. Hello. I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, I, I also I grabbed a power raid. I, I, I also got a power raid because I, I I hella stocked up on like the those like sports drinks for like hydration and stuff. The blue one. Let's be honest, no one knows the Powerade flavors, they just know the colors. But... We're in a dream bubble. Before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said the real dreamscape. That's the part I'm stuck on. Mm. 
Yeah. The, the family's tied into this. There, there, there's another layer to the dreamscape that we're not seeing, and this is it. I'm not sure. It's, it's the same place I went to when I first met. probably notice it when you woke up as well the ticking of clocks all around us <sighs> my gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker if it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy it will be connected to everyone who has mellowed to Penacone's dream let's go we have to move be it to find an exit or the truth Yeah. Oh, hi, Steve. Are we playing hide and seek? We can't get through here. Are you done? Let's take the way around from the side. But I want. I want the collectible. Ready or not, here I come. I I like having. Dead end here too. Given the layout of the room, are they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls? I... I like the canonically accurate, like... Subtitles. I know. I can't believe that worked. Tampering with the dreamscape's gravity is clearly strictly forbidden. Careful. There are some strange things on the wall. And they don't look like they're from the Dream Jewel troop. Mikhail. Hold on. There's a collectible. Where am I going? Where do I have to go? And then I have to... okay. I... I didn't even... see the other gear. Oh, you fucker. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm so smart. God, that's so trippy, though. Awesome. Nice, nice. I will get that chest later. This is too overwhelming. It's fine. You'll get used to it. He's on the other side? How are we going to cross over?
the walls. Duh. Aha! What? <laughs> what? Okay. Alright, I was like, there's no way I did that wrong. I'm great at building puzzles. Oh, fuck you. Wait, are you fake too? Yank. I'm not awake yet, chirp. Boss Red is coming. Hiya, oh, yeah, Boss Red is your chirp? That was scary. I almost got caught for slacking off, chirp. Better go back first, chirp. Lit. Is that not the fucking hotel, like, little Twinkie, little, little Shota boy? It's like I can... Oh, that's Misha! Oops. Confusion. Fear. Thank you, little Shota boy. So faint, I can barely feel them. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. Why did you come here? But that's Misha talking. That that's been an ongoing thing of Misha's. Oh my god, is Mikhail the clock? Dark and you, so you're trapped in the real dreamscape. Looking for your brother?
I'm so good at puzzles. That's a red door. Fuck. That how that door holds so much lore. Guaranteed. Guaranteed that door holds so much lore. Okay, hold on. I need I need more juice. How the fuck? Take me with you. Are you stuck? Are you not real? Are are you a part of like the dreamscape that's a fucking chirp oh wow you really are quite a nimble one chirp it could also be a nimble baddie chirp someone's trespassing in clocky's home i have to quickly return to the boss to report this chirp. Okay, so that's what I thought. Where the fuck am I? Wait, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Ah! There's so much to this room. I'm also really good at puzzles. Specifically, puzzle pieces. You're on Twitch shop. So I go this way? Where am I? Not that way. Okay, since I don't know how to get there. Ah, uh, fuck it. <gasps> Jikai VT, thank you for the follow. You are not a baby bat. The family insists that the dreamscape is absolutely safe. Yeah, hell no. Hold on, I have achievements. I'm good, I'm good, Shikai.
Some unknown individual's memories have been edited into a maze that almost trapped you within. If your memory can take shape, you think it will be... A vast and expansive sea. I like these. Okay, we continue. There's nothing but a jigsaw puzzle here. I wish you would let me in. Okay, puzzle. Like Fuck. Oh wait, I can go in now. Okay, Misha's not real. That that's why Misha's able to see Clocky. Misha. Misha's connected to the dreamscape. I was not reading any of that. Oops, it's just a block. Um. Are we not real? Okay, so the... The argument to that... Is... We have a Stellaron in us. What? Okay, that's where it was. But okay. No, I didn't want to investigate. I wanted to claim my prize. Oh. What am I doing? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp. The red bird jumps out eagerly, but it seems you aren't the person it's waiting for. The bird ruffles its feathers and disappoint. Hey, you left me. This should fill in the empty spaces in the puzzle. Fuck, 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 fuck. No. <gasps> I'm feeling good, Alex. <laughs> Feels like we're reaching the end, right? No. Just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. Oh fuck, but we see we see fucking Misha Miska Muska. We we see them in like the real world. Fuck, they're not just a part of the dreamscape. Here, 
That glass pattern, assuming that's what it is, it's like a sun roof glass thing. Um, bear with me. That's giving me black swan vibes. Specifically from her picture that I, I, I used for my, my sponsor Twitter post. Because it, it kind of has that like churchy, like cathedrally vibe. And I know she's also tied, tied, tied. And with the dreamscape. What was the, what was the way I came in? Fuck. Hold on. Oh, I don't like that the music stopped. Are the doors closing? Oh. I wanted to try to pick the right one. Hold on, I was faced the other way. The exact same room? Help! Hold on. It's this door. Fuck! Oh, you're fucking with me. No, wait. Could it be? Oh, I love this. Do not let him open the box. Was that open the box or near the box? Uh -oh. Which one was the original door? Hit him. The kale. I'm scared. Don't let him get away. Anaconda must save itself. Fuck. I, I thought I was pulling. No, I'm not scared. I love this. I love when audio gets distorted. Um. That that one. Um. That that one song soundtrack playlist thing that's just, that's supposed to replicate dementia like nothing nowhere at the end of time or whatever school bell anyway i listened to that whole thing the whole like 10 hours <laughs> I was a little scared during parasocial, but I sadly don't really get scared at horror games or any game because things are really predictable for me. Oh, you're gonna die. What is this monster? 
memory zone meme good the stronger the better something unto death hold on this is a fucking banger This is... Fuck. I think this is better than Kakolia. Oh! Oh, I think this is better than Kakolia. I 100% think this is better than Kakolia. Oh, that's sick. No, we got we got to bump that up. Yeah. <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. Savor the bigger. Stand still. Good times never last. Time to say bye. That's a banger. Mm. Okay, okay, I, I need to speed this up. I'm sorry. We're just having fun. Okay, memory zone meme. Are you buddies with Aventurine? Can we bring out the big guns already? Sorry, what am I saying? Okay, Aventurine, as well as a lot of the other people like Dr. Ratio, etc, etc. They, they're a part of the dreamscape. This is kind of like where we first meet them. A lot of their fashion is the same. You can kind of tell that between all the worlds that they have different fashions and different outfits and it's kind of like a cultural thing. So going off of that, I would assume they all kind of have the same style and this is a creature of the dreamscape. So, sorry. They, they would all have kind of the same Time for a shot. colors. <laughs> this is a fucking banger. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, I can get her back. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Just having fun. I don't fully think so. Whoa. Nap time. Not bad. Good times. Time Firefly, to you're gonna die. Boom. I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Fuck. I'm actually dying. Spatical, yes. Honkai Star Rail is a really fun game. I promise. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're too good to me. Oh my god, don't kill me, please. Please. Fuck. 
fuck. Bro. No, no, I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. No, I was kidding. I was kidding. Kind of. Wait! Holy shit! Wait! That's my mommy. Oh you yeah! The right technique. You might never return from the shadow of death. Emerging without a scratch. <sighs> Oh, we going in? Are you kidding me? I barely got out of look my hooks. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. There's going to be important dialogue. We're bumping that back down to four. May as well kill them all. Okay. I'm scared of myself right now. I was like, the glass is reminding me of Black Swan. Just just a little something. Think nothing of it. We're just having fun. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Good times. Never time to say bye. That's fine. Boom. Stand still. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Yeah, I I I, I use YouTube Studio and iPhone tracking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, portal. Wait, she's fucking up the, the meme. Meme. You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. Yeah, you were in it. <laughs> How was it? Did you dream of me? How'd you know? Of course. Did you save us? I didn't do much. Just helped you leave the memory zone. Mm hmm. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the Reverend. Oh my god. The safest and most familiar place you can be. Black Swan, your hips. Oh my god. Black Swan. I love you. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. Mm hmm. Firefly, did she make it out? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even at the brink of death. Started to tug a little at my heartstrings, even. Oh, uh, she died? <laughs> I know you've many questions, so please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe.
Mm hmm. So I joked about her. Does that mean she died? I don't. Nope. Nope. If a character dies off camera, that means they didn't die. Don't care. That's how that works. March. Oh, I didn't. We should remain vigilant. Hold on. You're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan. Memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Yeah, I know. You know each other? Yeah. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. Oh. We've only met once. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. Uh. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Elaborate on what you experienced. So, there was this meme. The who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Yeah, that's the word. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It mm -hmm. seems you know her well. Of course. I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying. But the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony! Have you not eh? sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone... Do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? The deep sea? Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror, I came to a long hallway. The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacony's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. I'm, I'm invested right now, I'm sorry. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Penacony's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form. And falling into the deep sea. A sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. 
That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would, it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuits and aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express, and practitioners of the Trailblaze. I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. I love the way you talk. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. Uh-huh. I understand, but before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Mm-hmm. Naturally, take your time. God, your hips. <laughs> oh my god, Black Swan, I come home. Why can't I move? How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. I trust her with my life. The worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes. Then it likely has something to do with the watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well... Uh, Excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Mm -hmm. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. But... From the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Sparkle! Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm. No, down. the IPC's in on it. Just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry, it's bad news. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall, silver-armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. 
Okay. Uh... Almost done with Pentagony? Hunters. They even factored Pentaconi into their plan. Who's Sam? Safe from them. Is that the tall the situation armored is man? The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails. It's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The I don't want answers. Sam ...is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. Kafka loves me. And Blade's just Bladey. He's just a sweet little man. Okay? Kafka's not dangerous. She's hot. Okay? And she could tell me to do anything, and I'd do it. Okay? Now, Molten Knight Sam, you sound like a Japard knockoff. Okay? And I don't like you. This message is a threat. A threat. The map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a uh, visit seems necessary. Okay, heard. If what if we get found out? Just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Okay. I get to go look at her again, so I'm not... I mean, look at her. Look. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, you. Ugh. Okay. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. Thank God, look at her. I your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. Okay. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course. Other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. Yeah, why would you want to hurt her feelings? Look at her. As for us, 
Let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. Yeah, yeah. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Fireflies return to reality yet. Hmm. I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. Oh, my room. My room. Yeah, my room. Oh, you're hot. Hello. You look anxious. Worried about that girl? Yeah, I am. Don't talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Okay. Can I cry in your boobs? <laughs> Don't worry. Can you confirm that Firefly is save? Way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which is impossible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel, massaging her eyes right now. But isn't that her whole thing? All right. That she... Peacefully off to sleep. She I'll wants to be right. in the dreamscape forever? Oh, Firefly's dead. Oh, Firefly's dead. No way she died off camera. No way. There's no way she died off camera. Welcome to Penacony, honored guest. Lie down in the dream pool. Back in this familiar room. She's so gonna die. This way, darling. She's so gonna die. Hmm. I'm breaking. <gasps> Chirp! Chirp, don't... No, stop! <laughs> the shape of the stove is too mundane. It should have been decorated a little more. Chirp. Hang on, maybe this current version is pretty good, but I still feel like the first draft was better. Chirp. Never mind, I still have to ask Lady Vermilion what she thinks, Chirp. Okay. Chirp. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I feel fine. That's good then. My god, you're so hot. I know you're more sensitive to memoria. Thus no, I'm not. Easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companion... Also, did she call me darling? I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. Okay. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, March's room is... This way. I should go meet up with her. She teleported. I knew it. It, it was... It was screaming... Chest. Your memories tell you this is March 7th's room. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken here. March, are you there? You knock, but there's no response. Are you in there? We are about to set off. You knock again, but there's no response. March, it's me, Barry. You knock harder, and there's still no response. I know what you're thinking, but alas, that girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. Okay, sorry. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a far away place right now. Okay. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. These poor little things stumbling about. Strange. There appears to be someone else's presence here. Ah, uh, her. 
How is this possible? I don't know her deal, but are there no staff members here at all? I just know Acheron. Wait, hold on. Raiden Shogun. <laughs> hold on. What's with the new fit? You know each other? Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That'll take more than medicine. Nap time. Stand still. Oh, yeah. Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? I... What? I could ask you the same thing. Panacone's rife with rumors now about the Watchmaker, a legacy, nightmares, and other mysterious tales. I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. What? Hold on. Huh? My shit's breaking. Okay, so Acheron has two fonts. Acheron has two fonts going on. Why? Why? Hmm. Not fonts, but like font colors. Why? You aren't hiding anything, are you? Were you always wearing that? Like, you have, like, your normal fit, but this, like... Inazuma. <laughs> Are you a puppet from the Rider Show? Hiding. I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. That's true. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I okay. can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, give me one second. My my stuff's acting up right now. Oh, my GPU temperature is capped out. Oh, well, that's not good. What do you think? We can trust Thank Acheron. You. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again. Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. Yeah, 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 yeah.
I didn't want that. I wanted to collect. Okay. Um. I quickly, real quick, am going to restart my game. Maybe. Um. That might, that might fix that. love your hand in rose still so much well get ready to part ways get ready to part ways with it okay it's it's not gonna not gonna be here much longer hold on two two seconds I'm gonna go mess with this real quick. I'm gonna turn on some music for you guys. I'll still kind of be here. But I I'm, I'm just gonna be in this screen while I... I'm just gonna give everything a good reset because what's what's happening is my models breaking so we're just we're just resetting it all sometimes that happens there there's a reason i don't normally stream this early or start streaming as early as i did because it is hot uh and it's still hot around like four but it starts cooling down But my my room just gets really hot um during the day, which doesn't help with my PC temps. So after after a while my my computer likes to do a little fucky wucky. Like I have a pretty tanky PC, I really do. But man, sometimes it does not feel like it. <laughs> Super sorry, guys. Hey, though, it, it has been a while, guys, if you haven't claimed your drops yet. Uh, to anyone who has been, you know, lurking in the background, please go ahead and claim your drops while all of this is going on and I'm getting everything set back up. Boom. Surely. If I open the game now, everything should be good. Oh, but I had glasses on. There we go. Right? Yes. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Boom. 
I like how... I like how all of my baby bats like my voice. Um... I... I personally don't, don't think my voice is, is all that great. Um... But... I, I, I have heard it... quite often now. Thank you for the head pads. Um, I don't understand it. I, I, I think I sound like, like an eight-year-old boy going through puberty. Okay. <laughs> um, but everyone kind of doesn't like hearing their own voice and puts their own spin on it. So that's, that's what I play it off as, as it, it's just... It's just that, like, my, my brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... All of my baby bats who really like my voice, which I feel like it would be weird for any of my baby bats and followers to not like my voice. Because why would you be here if you didn't want to listen to me? Um... What? Um... But... You guys are heard. Which is exactly why... I... I have mic upgrades on my throne wish list. Fuck, it's still breaking. Do I have something, like, weirdly updating in the background? So, about that, Ace, um, I've had, you know, um, I, I, I feel like a good group of my community uses my streams and you know my audio to, to go to sleep or even to just kind of get that relaxation feel you know even without the sleep and i, I i've always now i do have fuck acheron shut up i i have heard that I, I I have that kind of ASMR effect because I, I I have my gremlin energies when I'm playing games. Yes, that's true, but um, I I I can you know be more calm and you know talk closer into my microphone and you know you know what I mean. Do, do all of that, and... Well, you know... <laughs> I, I definitely have thought about doing ASMR. Though, if I were to do ASMR, I would want to give you guys actual good ASMR with a binaural microphone. The, the, 
it, if if you at all partake in ASMR, you'll know what I mean by, by a binaural microphone because it's the most common one that you see used with the two ears. Um, but it's it's not a USB microphone. Yes, the three DIO microphone. It it's also a it's it's binaural, so it's it's separated audios. That's how you get the right and the left very distinctly. Um but it's different than a USB microphone. It it's it's a splitter, it, it goes into a different thing that then goes into the it's complicated, okay? Basically, fuck, what's the word called? My god, I can't even think about it, but it goes into a, um... Oh my god! This is what happens when you don't get sleep for over 12 hours. A mix. It, it goes into a mixer. The the type of microphone it is. The what the fuck is that called? An XLR. It's a fucking XLR microphone. And for XLR microphones to work, it has to have a mixer which is like its own little separated audio deck thing. And you get the microphone, you get the mix, the mixer, the, the audio mix amp. Okay, uh, you need both of them. And to have good quality with the mix amp and the microphone, they need to be pretty expensive. XLR microphones are relatively expensive. I currently have a Rode NT something something it's down on my panels it's a USB microphone and it's really good for a USB microphone but if I were to get a audio upgrade the only thing to do is to get an XLR that that is that is the next step up so what I have on my throne wish list right now is a audio mixer because you need both now, I have the audio mixer, and if I get that audio mixer, I won't be able to use it for anything until I get an XLR microphone. So it's a bit tricky. But there's two, there's two decisions once I get that mixer. Okay, I can either invest in a Shure SM7B, which is one of the most common um microphones you see a lot of podcasters use tons of like the more popular vtubers use them um if you've ever seen trash taste you know that podcast with a uh, gigguk and anime man and connor um you that's that's the microphone sure sure sm7b really good microphone i would probably never need an audio like microphone upgrade from that ever and that would be for standard streaming and you know talking stuff like that um i could then also get the 3 dio ear binaural microphone because that is also a xlr microphone and be able to do asmr and i, I would i'd be able to do both with that mix amp of course i i, I have my whole like plan i have my whole plan for like in terms of upgrades models stuff like that i have it all set up i'm actually we're currently working on saving up for a like new freshly like fully customized live 2d model made by the amazing kinemen i love them i love them they are great um I already have all of my outfits planned for different seasons. And while I won't be getting all of those outfits at the same time, that is way too expensive. 
with time and as I grow and as I'm able to put money to the side to be able to do it better uh, and afford it better. Um, you know, you, you, you've you seen it. Multi like, uh, tons of VTubers will have re-debuts for certain holidays and events. Like, they'll have new spring models or summer models or they'll have, like, winter theme models. Um... I already have all of those planned out. I already have all of my outfits and everything planned out. Of course, as time goes on and they're probably going to actually be being made, um, you know, some slight changes might happen here and there. But I already have the general layout of all of that. Now, is that stuff going way into the future, probably years from now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as much as I want my my new model this year to have my official debut and release merch and all of that stuff, I can't fund it. Um, we still have a bit over a thousand dollars to pay off Kinney, and I desperately have to pay off Kinney. I I started this commission months ago, and I've been trying to give him the money. That's it's a big stressor of mine. Uh, but even once I get that model art, I have to get it rigged. And that rig's gonna be nearly $6,000. So that's not happening anytime soon. I, I'm a full-time streamer. All of my money comes from streaming. And let's just say, I don't make that much. I don't even make half of that. I don't even make half of that half. Okay. I I I I I make the low triple digits, okay? So I put as much money as I can towards these upgrades and you know, the model and everything else. But I won't be able to get this new model anytime soon without the help from you guys, which is why I have it on the wish list and you can donate to me and that that helps, you know, the, the subs and the bits and the, the everything else helps. You sitting here and watching ads helps a ton, okay? Um, even if you don't do that, okay? Like you interacting with my TikTok or Instagram or YouTube is great and it helps a ton and I'm hoping soon if we can start getting more like watch time and stuff on my main YouTube account that I can also get that monetized because YouTube's going to run ads anyway and I don't I don't get money for that. Um but once I reach a certain milestone, then I'll actually be monetized on YouTube as well. Um same with TikTok and other things. It won't affect you you guys really. Um But I, I have a lot planned and a, a lot I'm trying to do in terms of funding things, which is why you might also see me um, do a lot of sponsorships. I, I, I do and I, I, I hate it for you guys because I really don't like forcing things like down your throat and, you know, making you feel like forced to do things. But I... I What's it called? I... I have like morals when it comes to sponsorships. I, I don't want to accept sponsorships if it's something I don't like. If it's a product, a game, whatever it may be, and I know it's bad, or I haven't tried it, I will not accept it. Um... Like, I maybe maybe it's just because I'm a small streamer and I still have those morals and boundaries set, but I just don't feel comfortable promoting something I don't like. I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't feel comfortable talking positively about a product that absolutely sucks, whether that be a game or a food drink thing or, you know, whatever. E even like gaming stuff like keyboards mi like mice microphones i if if i know it's bad and i don't like it i don't want to promote it that's that um so i only accept sponsorships that i 
trust in you know believe in as a as a product as a as a company even i'm trying to get a gamer subs partnership i contact them every month i'm waiting but um You, you guys might see more sponsorships and it's, it's hard because while I like things like Honkai Star Rail and I just recently had a Honkai Star Rail sponsorship, um, I love their game, but you guys also play Honkai Star Rail. So if my job for being sponsored is to have you guys play the game for the first time, well, that's really tricky. You, you, you understand? It, it, it's really tricky to get you guys to play the game for the first time when you already play it. Same as Genshin. I really like Genshin. I would love to be sponsored by Genshin. But you guys already play Genshin. So how am I going to get you guys to play Genshin for the first time if you've already played Genshin? It's like that with all of the other games, really. It has to be first time players. Um... And so it's 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 hard. It, it it really is hard because it's like I, I I could accept sponsorships from Raid Shadow Legends and Zombie Puzzle Survivor, whatever. Like let's be honest, you guys probably haven't played that. But I don't feel comfortable. I don't I don't feel comfortable accepting those sponsors because that's not a product I like or trust in or think is good at all. So why would, why would I want to promote that to you guys? So it's really hard. Um, though you guys will probably see more sponsorships pop up. Hopefully I'll be getting a gamer subs partnership as well. Um, I, I, I've been wanting that since the beginning of forever. I love gamer subs as a brand, as a company. I love their whole thing. I post about them often. I, I give them so much support, and even though I'm small, I shout them out all the time. I retweet all of their posts. I like them. I mess with them on Twitter, uh, Instagram. I flirt with them, basically. They don't like me, and that's fine. I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. I'll get bigger. I'll wait, and then one day I'll get that partnership, and I'm determined. But all I can ask of you guys is... If you guys do see a sponsorship of mine that you haven't partaken in before, please know that I'm not trying to basically sell you on a bad product, even if it's a free game like Honkai Star Rail or Genshin Impact. Um, I'm not being scummy and you might not like it. Everyone has their own tastes, but we have to have something in common because if we didn't, why would you be here? That that That's a part of... That's a part of the streamer thing, you know? If if we didn't have similarities, you guys probably wouldn't like my content. So the fact that you're here says enough. If I like something, there's a good chance you could like it. And if you don't, that's fair. That that's completely fine. You know, we we are all welcome to enjoy our own things. But just know that if I'm trying to promote something, it's because I honestly do like it, and I think you guys would like it as well. Like Honkai Star Rail. Like Genshin Impact. Like Factor. I'm not sponsored by them anymore. No. Maybe again in the future. But... You know. Also, I, I, I know, I know the ads got in the way. I get it. I get it. I'll, I'll continue the, the game. Constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks. 
used in the memory zone. Um, there, there are a few more things that I, I do want to talk about when it, when it comes to that topic. And I feel like I mildly Um, I mildly talked about it in my Discord server, but, um, basically, it, if you guys didn't know, Twitch has a Partner Plus program, where if you are a Twitch partner, which I'm not, I'm a Twitch affiliate, but if you are a Twitch partner, you get more money. So, the current split for subs is 50 50 uh doesn't matter what sub it is tier one two three it gets split 50 50. so if you're spending five dollars on a tier one sub i'm getting 250 which is fair uh twitch whatever it's fine um well big news uh twitch is is coming out with basically an uh, affiliate plus where Affiliates are welcomed into the Partner Plus program, but they have to follow the same program rules. So basically how that works is you need X amount of sub points a month. And they can't be from gifted subs. It has to be fresh subs from you guys. Not fresh, but you know what I mean. Um... Not gifted. <laughs> and what that'll do is if I get X amount consistently a month for like three months straight or something like that, um, it will no longer be a 50-50. It'll be a 70-30. I, I get 70, by the way. Uh, in, in case that was a, a thought that crossed your mind. I, I, I get I get 70% of that sub instead of 50. Uh, which is... It's, it, that's great. That's awesome. Um, Nap time. Stand still. Bits are, are also great. Every, everything is great. The, the ads... I, I, I can't be mad if you guys don't get them for specific reasons. That's fine by me. I, if I was able to stream without ads, I would. The human body is beautiful and it's Where am I going? This way. It worked. You really can walk up walls. A memory zone of this level is mere child's play to a memo keeper. Come on, let's head out through the front door. Chest! Hold on. Oh. oh let me let me down <gasps> I'm sorry I, I I did recently change how my my ads work um oh okay i'll hydrate i'll hydrate thank you but i i did recently change how my ads work and it's basically if i run an ad which it, it does it automatically but if i run an ad every 30 minutes i think whatever anyway ads run 
It's either every 30 minutes or every hour. It's one of the two. But all I know is if I run a total of three minutes of ads an hour, um, pre-roll ads are disabled, meaning if people come into the stream, they will immediately be hit by an ad. Which I think is a lot better for you guys, because I don't want one of you guys to find me through an Overwatch game or just to open up Twitch and click on my stream to immediately be hit with a pre-roll ad. I, I would much rather run an extra ad an hour and have pre-roll completely turned off. So when people join my stream, the only possible ad that they can see are the scheduled ads that happen throughout my stream. Very, how do we meet? Probably from Instagram or tic TikTok, maybe YouTube. Chirp, how do we get how do we get out of here, Chirp? The road's here on the wall one moment. And over my head the next. So confusing, Chirp. Don't you know how to fly? Oh yeah. I was so dizzy that I forgot about that. I'll have to fly back to the tree. Got got to get Lady Vermilion to redesign this route, Chirp. Which that, again, is it is it's it's another great way to support me is by checking out all of my other socials. Okay, I I I post all of my vods on my vod YouTube channel. I post edited down, easier to digest gameplay content on my main YouTube channel as well as YouTube Shorts, TikToks, Instagram Reels. I post my schedule on instagram every week as well as in my discord server and on my twitter i do a lot for you guys okay where the fuck oh i just got mega lost for a second there It, it really does support me, and I'm not... I'm not saying go follow just to get the follower count up. That That's not... that's not it at all. Um... But I know I'm not always here. Oh, you fucker! Oh my god, I was so scared. I was so scared. Where the fuck am I? Whoa, I'm back here? Okay, anyway, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. We're just gonna go through the door. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination. That was cool. Office. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted be careful that's so cool oh oh yank yank oh you Yank. Chirp, rats. I can't believe I'm caught by you, Chirp. That doesn't count, Chirp. One more time, Chirp. Hold on, I've got I've gotta go back to the great tree. I'll beat you next time, Chirp. 
No, you won't. <laughs> I'm number one. <laughs> Chirp. Elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I have more stickers. More and more important... More and more import, important persons have taken to the stage. The dreamscape is drowned by deep waters, and the future is entangled in threads. Every step you take leads to the unknown and mysteries. Do you still remember the two women who were beside you at the time? If you have to make a choice, which of them would you prefer to control your future? Fuck. Honestly, Black Swan, the memo keeper. Neat. Why do I try so hard with that? It's not really trying hard, but like I... I put a lot of effort in it. There's more? Damn. Okay. Wait, I'm still not done? Holy moly. Hi, Kurumi. What? Oh. Let's go. Sorry, the lore. The lore. See, I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? I don't know. Where am I? <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method. So you two, please give me a little time. Hmm. All good, that Kurumi. Is. I can see the core of this dreamscape. And there are members of the family and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three, wait, three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Firefly! Wait. She's gonna die! The girl who was with you. You said she already returned to reality. Eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone. Mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. Uh, Dr. Syked, um, I, I'm a variety streamer. 
Um, the the games I I play every day are completely different. Every Sunday I try to do something spooky, whether that be a horror game or we watch some spooky content from like YouTube or something on on stream. Uh, I, I I play lots of Honkai Star Rail. That's true. Uh, I'm really into the new story and. Once that kind of finishes, I will probably start playing a bit more Genshin as well. I, I am trying to play both. It's kind of difficult to play both, but I, I am trying. Um, and then I, I, I do play Overwatch often as well, uh, though I haven't played the new season. And when when I do at some point uh next week i i might like it i might not like it uh they made a lot of changes and if i don't like it i'll i'll still play overwatch yeah i it, it it's a game i've played a lot over this year of streaming um I, I'm glad to be taking a bit of a break from Overwatch. I, I was playing a lot of it. Though there's a lot of games that I want to try to play. Um, yeah, I'll still play Overwatch. I know a lot of you guys are here because of Overwatch and still like Overwatch. But I, I'm a variety streamer. I know it's probably not the best for me. But I really like Honkai Star Rail. I really like Genshin. I like Overwatch. I think. I don't know. I haven't tried the new season. Um, I also really like MMOs. I I like Black Desert online. I like Final Fantasy. Potentially many, many more. Um, as as they come out, you know, I, I even played Lost Ark for a bit, not on stream, but you know, but um, my, my schedule gets posted every week on a Sunday. Sometimes I'm a little late and it gets posted on Monday. Please forgive me. Um, I post my schedule on Twitter, in my Discord server, and on Instagram. So, you'll, you'll know what I'm playing then. Oh, I also play lots of Cold of the Lamb as well. I, I don't think I did any this week, but next week for sure. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I got some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There was also a third party at the scene when you ran into danger. That memory zone meme. It is here as well. Hurry, through here. Okay, guys. I I I don't I don't want to cut it off here. Trust me. Please don't leave, okay? To to all the people here, all of my lovely baby bats, please do not run off. I am going to be raiding. Also, wakey wakey. Wakey wakey. Um, please don't run off. And reminder for your drops. Um I I I've had drops on for Honkai Star Rail the this this entire time, and if you you know, watch other streamers you, who play Honkai. You, you've probably racked up some time on these drops as well. So a little reminder to please claim your drops. Um, also, while you have the chance, please, if, if you haven't, 
go ahead and copy and paste all of the Honkai Star Rail codes that are pinned in the chat. Um, I, I started stream early today because I, I had a lot of stuff to do. Um, it just had to take place at a later time. Um, and I've been sick, so I'm, I'm, everything's a mess, okay? <laughs> Everything is a mess, but I, I need to go grab some food from the store. I need to pick up some medicine. I, I need to do quite a few things. Um, so, please don't run away. I am going to be raiding into more Honkai Star Rail. Let me just find somebody. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not taking requests. I'm just looking. I'm a looking. I'm a looking. Oh, yeah, you. 100% you. Wait, okay. Yeah, we're good. What the fuck did I do? Oh, shit. I broke it. <laughs> I broke it, guys. Oh, fuck. I don't even have music going. I'm throwing. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, guys. So, for one, if you guys haven't followed me yet, yeah. If, you, if you guys haven't followed me yet now is the perfect time to do so okay um i i do try my absolute best to stream every single day so yeah <laughs> sorry uh my my brain turned off i i've been up since 1 a.m forgive me um but if you haven't followed me yet, now is the perfect time to do so, okay? I love all of my baby bats. I stream all the time. I post my schedule, TikToks, all of that stuff. Also, please go ahead and join my Discord through that link there. You can get notified for when I go live, when I post on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it may be. It's all there, as well as our weekly community events. Now that I'm finally feeling better, tomorrow we have a Just Chatting. And then we also have Discord Anime Night at 6 p.m. EST. Super excited. We're going to be watching Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. But don't worry. Uh, if you're not interested in the anime or, you know, you're busy or whatever, um, I will be raiding with the Just Chatting stream earlier that day. Uh, but for anyone who is interested in the anime, all the stuff for that in the Discord, okay? My Discord's awesome. It's active. It's great. Join my Discord. Also, check out all of my socials through that link there that has my Patreon, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it may be. It is all there for you guys, okay? I post on... I, I try... I try my absolute best, okay? I've been sick, I'm sorry. But I do try to post on my TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels every single day. I post my stream schedule in the Discord, Twitter, Instagram. Check it out, check it out. Yes, we do have a raid message. Give me just one second. Um, yeah, check out my, check out my socials, please. I, I also, again, post cut down, easier to digest, a little bit more funny, you know, it gets rid of all the filler, or it makes the filler a bit more funny of me struggling in a game. Um, you know, normal YouTube gameplay videos uh, on my main YouTube channel as well. Please go check those out. That is edited by an amazing member of our community named Secret. I love you, Secret. So please go give those videos a ton of love as well. And of course, if you would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, you being here, chatting, lurking, following is great, amazing, awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. You could also sub or use your free Amazon Prime sub on the little old me, okay? Um, you get ad-free viewing, tons of super cute emotes to use across all of Twitch, special roles in the Discord server, and hopefully many more things for all my subs later on in the future as well. But 
We are going to be raiding Angry Owl Cat. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, wait. Shit. Fuck. Hold on. I'm scared. They 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 changed it. They changed it. They changed how raids work. They don't take as long anymore. Ah Normally okay, hold on. Guys, okay, you're you're gonna go ahead. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got really scared. I thought I sent you guys off already. Okay. Um, if you would like to support me for further, you can donate to me through that link there. All that money goes directly towards me. It helps fund things like my new model or other stream upgrades, as well as, you know, me as a streamer, because I am still very, very small, and Twitch takes half the sub money, and, you know, everything else. It, it, it helps me out a ton, but never at all required, as well as check out my wish list and kind of choose where the money goes, whether that be towards the new model, microphone upgrade, Anything on the wish list that might pique your interest that you want to, you know, help me get. Uh, but again, never required. Yes, what, what is that question? What is that question, Ace? Oh my god. Uh, okay, guys. You, got, you guys are going to go ahead and copy and paste that message right there into Angry Owl Cat's stream. Okay. I, I love you all. Super duper lots. Super duper lots. Okay. I, lo I love every single one of my baby bats. I promise. I, I'm resting up. I'm, I'm, I'm eating simple, easy to eat foods and hydrating a lot. Uh, with with the sports drinks and normal water as well, and you know I'm kind of I I want to do a lot of cleaning today. I, I've been pretty sick. Little little I foo up moment uh for a few days there, so I I kind of just want to clean my room, go to the store, get some medicine, food, stuff like that, and uh yeah. But please, guys, please go ahead and give Angry Owl Cat lots of love for me, okay? I, I, I love all of you. I will keep all of you guys updated in my Discord server for anything. But, uh, you know, I hope you guys have a good day or night or whatever it may be. And I love you all. Have a good night. Mwah.